Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Artist at Play, and today I have something a little different for you. I want to share with you a community project that I have been working on for a little while now behind the scenes. This is part of a larger project for the Augusta Downtown Alliance for Augusta, Maine. They had put out a call for artists a while back where they asked artists to adopt these fiberglass sturgeon sculptures so that we could paint and decorate them however we saw fit of course within reason because they are going to be in a public place we all had to choose things that were family friendly and not too controversial which is one reason why i chose to do a sky theme because i knew that'd be pretty safe so I put in a proposal and I was one of the artists who was chosen. I was super excited about that because it's been a while since I've done anything involved like in the community and things like that with my art. And I really wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and paint something that I wouldn't ordinarily paint. I don't do a lot with 3D items and with this somebody else had made all the sculptures and then we're just painting them and painting something 3d is a little bit different than painting something 2d so i thought it would be a great way to kind of expand my my repertoire so to speak and step outside of my comfort zone and do something different while also being involved with the community and i actually went to college in augusta i went to the university of maine at augusta and so our professors had us involved quite often with the Augusta Downtown Alliance just to show us that artists are really involved in their community and should be involved in their community. And so I was really excited when this opportunity came along. And yeah, so here I am. I am just doing a base coat. I am using the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover spray paint. So I'm doing like a base of the blue. I think it's like true blue or something like that. I don't remember the names of the colors. I chose a couple sky colors to do my base coat with. This came pre-primed, but we did sand it down and kind of get it more ready to receive the paint. And I chose I paint that I knew would be okay to be outside because, of course, this sculpture is going to be placed in front of an area business in Augusta. And all the sculptures will be auctioned off at a later date to raise some money to kind of help keep things moving in downtown Augusta and beautify the city. And if you don't know, I live in Maine and Augusta is the capital city of Maine. And they have a cute little downtown with historical buildings and many fun different restaurants and shops and things like that. And they've really, really been trying to clean up the area the past few years. And so this is all part of that. So I'm coming through with my lighter blue now and just kind of doing sweeping motions because I wanted to kind of have a gradient between the two blues because the sky obviously has a gradient. And I thought a sky theme would be fun. This is an abstract project to begin with, really, the concept, because we're all painting fish. None of us painted it to look like an actual fish, I don't think. So I decided that I thought a sky would be a great subject because I love painting skies. It was something I knew well. I didn't want to have a lot of pressure on myself, but I knew that the sky would be a nice family-friendly kind of theme. And I'm really familiar with drawing and painting skies. So my main thing here was to just let go, have fun, learn some new things. And I definitely did. I am not somebody who works with spray paint. <laughs> Don't come at me about my techniques, okay? I'm doing the best I can, all right? I got the job done. <laughs> but like I said, I just wanted to have fun, be part of a community project, and learn something new. And I definitely learned a lot more about using spray paint from this and from working on a 3D sculpture in general. So here it is with the base coats. She's pretty, she's shiny. I was really happy with how this came out. There was a few places I needed to touch up, obviously on that fin and things like that, and I did do that. And then I came through what's with some patio paint. I think it's deco art that makes it some craft paint and it's made to go on patio furniture. So it is made to go outside. I thought that would be a nice strong craft paint to put my clouds in with. And so I'm just going to cover this whole thing with clouds. I didn't have a huge plan. I knew in my mind what I wanted it to look like, but I wasn't going to like 
like I said, I wasn't going to put too much pressure on myself. I just went in and painted clouds. I used some of the clouds that were outside while I was painting as inspiration. I did a lot from my memory and from imagination, and I just had a really good time. And I did use a little bit of blue patio paint to put some shadows in the clouds as well in places that I needed to. As you can see, my chickens are roaming around while I do this. I did try to be mindful of them while I was spray painting. <laughs> I had to scare them away quite a few times because they are curious little creatures, but I assure you, no chickens were hurt during the making of this fish. <laughs> Then I tried to spray paint some clouds on. That didn't work as well. I wiped it down a little bit, and then I ended up painting this big giant cloud over it. Not exactly how I would have liked it, but it came out fine. Some places that I had to correct myself with blue spray paint. It was a back and forth. And I worked on this for quite a while. I don't even remember the exact amount because the date did get pushed back a couple times because of unforeseen circumstances, which ended up being okay. Um, gave me a little bit more time, but I had the bulk of it done before I had it done before the main deadline or before they had pushed it back. But then it gave me time to do more touch ups when they had pushed it back. So I kind of miss my fish now that she's gone, honestly, because I had her for a while. I had her for a month or two, maybe. And so I was used to coming into the garage and seeing this fish. And now she's in her new home and I kind of miss her. <laughs> I personify things way too much, I think. I give inanimate objects personalities. And so... Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's exciting to see her in her new spot, but it's definitely weird that it's not at my house anymore. I guess I took the adoption thing a little seriously there because I got a little attached. But when you spend this much time with something, it's inevitable. I'm like that with almost all my artwork. Usually when I first finish a piece, I have to wait a while before I have the gumption to put it up for sale. So I'm not at all surprised. And I went through with various brushes to do this, mostly Taclon brushes, but a few others. And I do come through with smaller brushes, too, to get some detail on the white caps of the clouds and things like that. And then after I got all the clouds in, I decided I wanted her to be shiny and shimmery. So I used some iridescent medium and gave her sparkles all over her little body. And then I put a couple coats of isolation coat and then I covered it with an acrylic urethane clear coat. And I put five or six coats of that on. It's supposed to be super waterproof. They use it to finish garage floors with and it's supposed to be UV resistant. And so I was hoping that that would help her so she doesn't fade in the sun and she can, you know, deal with rain and weather. And then here is my final piece. This is my sky fishy. She's so cute. I love it so much. This is before we brought her to her new home. We had photo op, giving her kisses. And then this is after we dropped her off. You can see some of the other fish before they were put up downtown. Really, really cool variety here. It's super neat. And here she is in her final spot. And the really cool thing is she's across from Handley Hall, which is where I had a lot of my art classes when I was in college. And so I think it's super fitting that she is right where I spent a lot of time when I was in school. And here it is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, this is something a little different for me, but I wanted to share it with you. And I do think it's great to get involved with the community while you can and to be a part of things. And I can't wait to do more projects like this in the future. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. You have a great day. Bye.